Throughout my YouTube career, I've been a lot of Dragon Ball Z Universe 2 videos. And you guys, my faithful Donchi family, have a lot of great comments and questions. But one question that always pops out is, Black Master Donchi, how do I give these niggas these hands? How do I partake in the hands giving lifestyle? How do I distribute my 10 appendages to these unintelligent individuals? Well today, I am here to answer all those calls by giving you a crash course in the order of these hands. Before I begin, do not forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe for more content. Join the Doji family, the greatest YouTube community of all time, and the only community that will be able to master the art of handsology. Cue my fucking intro. So, you want to become a master of these hands. Well, the first step in fully mastering the art of these hands is movement. Or as we fighting game girls like to call it, footsies. What you know about these footsies, bitch? What you know about these footsies? You can't see me with the footsies. I got the movements on fucking lock. Movement is this ability to our hands. It's our rock. You need movement to get to your opponent. You need good movement to dodge moves. But bad movements can get you into a lot of trouble, so you have to be strategic with your movements. Oh, no. Get out my face. Get out. Oh, Jesus. Utilize your step vanish since it doesn't use any stamina. Master movement and you're already on the right track to becoming a true master of these hands. The second pillar is maintaining your stamina. Don't be like this guy. And I have no fucking stamina. Why do I have no fucking stamina? Why is my health so low? You don't want to teleport to the point where you're left completely defenseless because once your opponent is able to combo you, he or she will break your stamina and you will die. No, I have no stamina. Oh, my and die. Jesus, my Christ. Oh, no. And die. Please. Oh! This leads me to my third pillar of handsology. Combos. This includes your basic attack, your key supers, and your strike supers. Being able to mix up your combos is very important. You don't want to be too predictable because then your opponent will react accordingly. To truly dispense these digits of mass destruction, you have to be unpredictable. Do you want these hands? Do you want these fucking hands? You obviously want these hands. You obviously are not afraid of catching all these fucking appendages. A true handsology expert is consistent but random at the same time. The fourth pillar of the study of these hands is stamina breaking effectively. Stop. Get out my face! To be frank, stamina breaking is paramount when it comes to winning a match or making a comeback. In most cases, you can only unleash your ultimate attack after a stamina break. You're gonna catch this work, you dumb bitch! Get out my face! However, stamina breaking is not an easy feat. If you do it without hit confirming, well, you will get punished. Mix stamina breaks in with your combos, whether you're using a created character or a regular character in the game. If you find an opening, go for it and destroy your opponent without holding back. The fifth pillar is blocking. It isn't over yet. Blocked! Blocked! Block, bitch. Is your opponent applying too much pressure? Well guess what? You have a button specifically made to protect you. And if you master perfect blocking, you'll be able to immediately punish your opponent after blocking an attack. Just don't block too much, or you'll have your guard broken, and you will die. Jesus! He's killing my ass! The sixth pillar is grabbing. I'm a, now I'm gonna grab you, and I'm gonna give you some of these hands. Because you should never just decide that you can just kind of come in my house like this. This is a very simple pillar. If you are dealing with an opponent that guards too much, throw his bitches across the fucking stage. You don't have to deal with that mess. The seventh pillar is your evasive move. The game provides a way for you to deliver these hands when you're in a pinch. Use it. You should definitely use it when you're cornered by an ultimate attack. It makes you invisible for a short amount of time, and it has a chance of giving you an opening if you play your cards right. The eighth pillar, stay calm in battle. Ah, uh, but I have no stamina. Oh, and he flashed me. He flashed me. Ah, uh, no. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Oh, look, I have no stamina once again. It's beautiful when you just have no stamina and you can't do shit, right? Please, ah. Uh. There are going to be times where you either panic when you're in a corner or get excited when you successfully unload a full clip of these hands. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Get your ass on the floor! Stay level-headed. If you don't, you will mess up and make mistakes. Don't panic and don't get too excited. You'll have enough time to celebrate when you win. I'm completely calm. I am completely calm. 
I am completely calm. I am very calm right now. I'm not gonna panic. I'm not gonna panic because this guy is doing nothing but attacking me from behind. But I'm okay because I'm gonna give this nigga these hands and I'm gonna hit him with this command man wave. And he's gonna die and I'm gonna be happy. And we're all gonna live in a happy fucking time. You dumb bitch. How dare you hit me with that shit. Who are you aiming that shit at? You dumb whore. Stop it. Stop it. Now, that is all for the basic pillars of giving out these hands. However, there is one pillar that is a special secret. It's only shared among the masters that have been training in handsology for years. But because I love you guys, my Donchi family, I'm going to share it with you. Are you ready? Talk all the shit! I told you, I'm the master of the movements. I'm the master of the movements. Oh, you are so lucky the game just glitched on me because I was about to break your life. Nah, bitch. Fuck you! Grab me, throw it across the stage. You must, you must think you're so special. You must think you're so special, nigga. You must think you're so special just because you're the main character of the anime. You think you're cool? You think you're nice? You think niggas fuck with you? Cause I don't fuck with you. You's a bitch, and you will always be a bitch, Goku. Fuck you! I told you you's a bitch. I told you. Are you kicking this nigga's ass? Talk shit. Are you getting your ass handed to you? Still talk shit. Blame it on something that does not have to deal with you getting your ass whooped. Talk all the shit and let the opponent know that you are a handsology expert. And just when you're done talking shit, talk more shit. And that, my friends, are the nine pills of giving these niggas these hands. Use it, study it, then come back to me and show me your skills. But that is all for today, guys. I hope you all enjoyed my little guide and use it to your benefit. Please do not forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe for more content. Also, because I neglect to mention this all the time, I have social media that you can follow me on as well. The links are in the description. So follow me on those so that you can stay up to date with everything the Black Mask and Donji ish. And you could also, you know, comment on videos and shit and like, you know, give me feedback on videos there as well as comments here. And do not forget to leave those questions for my Q&A. Just say hashtag 10k Q&A right before the comment and then leave me those questions. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Take care.